In our July Homes and Interiors sale, we've got a really good selection of optics and um, cameras and scientific instruments uh, that I can show you exactly here. It's a really nice selection right near the beginning of the sale. And um, one of the main things in this section is, um, or these two, first one here is lot 75, which is a very large, as you can see, 19th century lacquered brass. This is a compound microscope, um, and it's a binocular microscope, this one. And it's signed here on the base, uh, R and J Beck Limited, a very good maker of um, scientific instruments and in particular microscopes. Um, there's nothing that I can see that's wrong with this one. It doesn't come with any case or any slides, it's just the microscope as you see. Um, but very good condition for, over, for about 150 years odd, 150 years old. And it should be between two, or two and three hundred. Um, but rare to see one um, in a homes and interiors sale. Next to it here, one of the best cameras in the sale. This is lot 63. And this is a, um, a field plate camera. So it folds up and it's got the original bellows here. Um, so it's a complete folding plate camera and it would have been on a, on a wooden stand as well. This also comes with it. So a nice, lovely tan leather case. Some of the original folding slides as well. You've got four of those slides in with it. I think the estimate again is about two or three hundred pounds, but could, could be a bit more than that as it comes with the case and the slides. Um, a really nice selection here of um, daguerreotypes and ambra types, which are um, antique photographs. So just have a flick through here. This is all one massive lot. This is lot 159. Um, just love looking through these for, for all of the dress and the faces. How lovely to have them in original embossed leather cases on both sides with hand pressed gilding around the edge. How lovely. Another one there. And there's just absolutely masses of these all in one collection. You can see there on that one that's um, somewhat faded around the edge. It looks more like a ghost. <laughs> collection of people in what appears to be a horse cart. School photograph. <laughs> like I say, a really good selection there and some loose ones in there as well. Um, and estimate is between one and 200 for that lot. Should um, easily make a lot more than that. Um, what else have we got over here? Different type of optics. These are military field binocular stereoscope. And uh, this one, as you can see, comes with its, its base and it's got a, the original wooden case as well with it. I think it's all working. Seems to be, I can see that box. <laughs> um, that is lot 74. And it, it has all of the um, inscriptions on it, all of the military inscriptions. Again, estimate for that is between 150 and 250 for the original case as well. And then a really nice Minton's secessionist jardinier on stand. No particular major damage on this one, a few little chips around the edges you'd expect. But that all seems to be in good original condition. And one of that sort of quality I'd expect to be about three to five hundred. That's stamped on the base as well. But nice to have the original Jardinier stand. You don't usually, um, they usually split up, both of those. Um, and then we've got masses of other smalls to, to go through on the, on the same day, but we'll just have a quick look through a few pieces of furniture. So one of the nicest pieces of furniture in this sale is lot 2145, and it's absolutely beautifully inlaid. This is a Dutch uh, 19th century side table or center table and all over it is am amazingly um, intricately inlaid with all different types of specimen woods. You've got rosewood in here. I think you've got some stained bone, which is this green part. Um, beautiful burr walnut around the edge and oyster veneering as well. 
all around the edge here. And if you look a bit closer, you can see it's amazing chrysanthemums and birds and leaves. But the work in this is incredible. And it's, yes, it's got a few splits across the top and around the edge and some, some lifting here as well. But the work in that is amazing. You'd never get that today. Um, I think the estimate on this is about two to 400. I wouldn't be surprised if it made more like 500 to 1,000. It's beautiful work in this. And again, on the stretchers as well, you can see underneath here, um, and this is where you can definitely attribute it to being Dutch. <laughs> You've got some uh, Dutch figures here dancing after probably having a pint. But look at that, even the cross stretchers, beautifully inlaid. So that's one to watch, lot 2145. Uh, this here is also quite beautiful. 2408, a nice small compact piece of furniture. And um, that would have been a ladies writing bureau. And that is slightly faded, but again, good overall condition. I think the estimate on that is about 150 to 200 or so. Uh, we've got some really interesting furniture as we go all the way through. I'll just show you this piece down here, which is again, one of my other favorites. Um, and something you certainly don't see very often is this lot here, 2144, which is another Dutch piece. And again, as you can see, it's all very intricately um, inlaid with all different types of boxwood and satin wood. And this is a full front as well. So that converts to a bureau with all the different cubby holes and Rules. But what an amazing piece of furniture. Drawers on top as well, and cupboards underneath. <laughs> amazing storage space. And that's inlaid on the sides and all over. So just think the amount of work that's gone into this. It's taken someone probably years to make that. And you would probably expect it at auction now to be floating around three or four hundred, I suppose. But back in the day, that probably would have been easily 1,500 or so. Um, so that's certainly one to watch again. You don't see pieces like that very often. The pieces that people really want nowadays are things like this, 2142. Classic mid-century sideboard. Um, people want G-plan and ladder axe shelving units, which we also have. Um, but these sort of simplistic ones seem to do extremely well at auction now. Um, as that's what everyone wants. So I, I expect the estimate on that to be 150 to 250 or so. Um, but again, very popular things, original mid-century. Um, got all sorts of other bits as well. I think this is from the same house as the, as the other um, writing bureau there. This is a cylinder front bureau. As you can see, they love their writing desks. And that pulls out as well, you've got a leather top. It all seems to be in good condition. And look at that, if, if something, that sort of, that style of elaborate's not for you, then maybe this elaborate is for you. 2216, that's Hollywood Regency style. Um, I'm pretty sure this is very modern, um, but it's of that style with smoked glass nesting tables underneath and a mirror and the side table. And that's the whole set together. I think the estimate on that is probably two or 300 pounds. And then to finish off, we'll just look at this one. Just caught my eye as well. Again, another mid-century piece, the shaped top and a really structural base. That's quite fun. That's lot 2214. Nice coffee table, that one. And all sorts of other things, but the <laughs> best thing to do is look through online. We've got some fantastic photos online now of all the furniture. Um, so please do have a look through. Sales on Wednesday and Thursday. Each day start from 9.30 in the morning. So please do join us and have a look through the catalogue. Thank you.